this is Lori and this is my homework for Paul McCorder's UNO R4 class. We're on lesson number five where we're working with binary numbers and our homework is to create a binary counter using our LEDs. So I thought I'd just share this program that I have on my screen I think is what most people who are just starting out um, learning Arduino and C++ um, this is the program you should make, something like this one. I, I actually found my old uh, program from when I took uh, Paul's Arduino R3 classes, and this is what I wrote back then. I didn't know anything about C++ and, and, and very little about Arduino at the time, and this is the kind of program I put together. Uh, back then for the R3 class and you can see you know just doing everything in the way that Paul showed us and I went through and I just turned on the lights or turned them off to create each of the digits in binary so um, if that's how you did it you know you should feel good about that that's exactly um, the kind of program that I think Paul expects beginners to be able to to do based on what they've learned so far. Now I'm going to show uh, a little more advanced way of doing it because um, I'm starting to get my uh, Arduino programming uh, legs back. It's been a while and I think I've complained about that in my in my homeworks before and I'm slowly re-remembering all the ways to work with uh, uh, control structures in C++. So, um, I tried to do something a little more sophisticated this time, um, but you know, if this is how you did it, then you did it. You did it great. So I didn't want to make anybody uh, feel feel bad about that or feel like they uh, aren't aren't learning what they need to learn. Um, this is the way you would start doing this project if you're a beginner. All right. Uh, no, I think we uh, you know, have my circuit over here, and we've all talked about the setting up of the LEDs. I keep changing the colors out because I just like playing around with different colors. So I got green in there today. Um, so here's the code that uh, I put together this time to do the binary counting. Um, so I'll set up a delay time of a second and then I'm using these four LED pins. And then I'm using a for loop to set them all up as uh, outputs. Um, so just, you know, using this little array here uh, to go through that and a lot of the other more advanced students have been doing this sort of thing too. Um, and then in the void loop, I'm going to loop through the numbers 0 through 15. Uh, so I'll call that cur for current number. Um, and we'll stop when we get up to 16 and we'll advance it using the for loop. And again, that's something that Paul hasn't gone through yet. So if you're not familiar with for loops, don't worry about it. it it'll come. Um, and then I'm, I'm making uh, a version of cur number into a byte. Um, so I'll turn it sort of into that binary format. And then as I do that, then I can loop through the four places in the binary number. Um, and see whether they're uh, a 1 or a 0. And if it's a 1, then I'm going to turn on the LED, and otherwise it must be a 0, and so I will turn that one off. And um, we'll have the delay time here, and keep looping around through the numbers. Um, so yeah, that, that, should, that should work pretty well. So let's see, I think I already have this loaded in, so let me, uh, let me just plug in my Arduino. And I'm going to watch that go. And uh, I have a little diffuser here because I think it might make this a little easier to see. I'm going to look at the screen and see. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, that's my little uh, diffuser that I've been trying out. And you can watch it count through the numbers. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that works. Uh, that works perfectly. Now, uh, I also wanted to do a little bit more because uh, I like to, I'm not that great at binary, so I like to actually show um, the digits, uh, the number that we're on in decimal somewhere. And since we have the uh, LED uh, matrix here, I spent some time uh, learning how to use that LED matrix. And Paul actually did a, a live session as well on it. And uh, so between that and reading the documentation, 
I've added in uh, using the LED. So I'll show that code next. And here's the code to, um, to include the LED matrix to put the current um, digit in decimal up on, on our matrix here. Um, so I'll include those libraries. Uh, this is the same setup of delay time and the LED pin array and set those up. Also set up the serial begin and begin the use of the matrix here. And then you can see that, you know, most of it stays pretty similar. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, use that read byte, uh, read, bit read, I should say, bit read function to uh, pull off the, the place that we want to look at and light or not light our uh, LED. And then uh, this is all the text that's needed to, um, to put the decimal value on the LED matrix. So it's a lot of just kind of set up and telling it what font to use. And then just, we're going to start giving it some text and then we're going to give it the current number. Then we're going to end that and end the draw and then we'll do our delay time. Um, and then uh, I wanted to have a little bit of extra time. So I'm going to turn all the LEDs off and clear out the matrix and wait three seconds before we start the next count through 0 to 15. So it'll do 0 to 15, then it'll come into this uh, last uh, area, turn everything off and clear the screen, wait three seconds, and then it'll go back up and start the count again. All right, so got that loaded. Let's just take a look at what that would look like. Hoping that that film's OK. I'm looking up at the monitor. Yeah, I think you can see the digits on the on the LED matrix. And, uh, yeah, you know, that LED matrix is going to be very useful, I think, as we go through and and uh, connect up sensors and so forth to to our Arduino. So we have we have a built in display uh, where we can show data um, and you can scroll text on it, too. Paul showed us how to do that as well. Uh, but in this case, I'm just counting through the numbers and showing that. So it's nice you can kind of mount, match up the, um, you know, the LEDs with, with, the, with the number. All right, so that's my homework. Thanks for a great lesson, Paul, and thank you for watching.